Hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. This is the top five and more things that we love about our motorhome. This is a collaboration between another other, a number of other YouTubers who have caravans and motorhomes. So do take a few moments to have a look in the description below for the links to the other videos and also the playlist on the end card. Now, for our first thing, we're gonna go inside, aren't we, Sue? Yep, it's much easier this time because they're things we like. They're things we like. We spot for choice. Okay. So what's the first thing you like, Sue? I love the layout because the cab becomes part of the lounge diner bit, which we really like. And then you can add an extra table on the, on the table so you can seat six in here for meal. And then you've got the kitchen. I love the kitchen, I love the worktop, the height because I'm tall. So it really works really well. And then obviously you've got your fridge freezer storage above and then you've got the bedroom which is really good you can pull a little screen across if you want to section it off if you don't bother um, but you can do that so that goes there and then you've got the rear washroom looks a bit of mess because we've got things hanging in here but it's good because you've got a separate shower there's enough space to move around and wash yourself um, so we're happy with this layout. The next thing I really like is the decor. It's lovely and light and bright. Uh, everything coordinates. You've got this lovely polished finish. And then you've got the kitchen units that are white. So that clarifies that they're kitchen units. And then it continues with the lovely, it's the same colours in the, in the bedroom and in the bathroom. So that's my nice favourite. Nice curtains. The curtains, yeah, they all match, don't they? Yep, and the headboard as well. well. One of the things I really love about the uh, Swift Bolero is the livery and the uh, wet looks outside. I'll show you that now. You did add some bits to it though, didn't you? Yeah, my little <laughs> posh cats bits. <laughs> that we really like. I love this opening, well what, what would you call it Trev? Roof the light? skylight, yeah, the roof skylight. light. Yeah. Um, that's really lovely and obviously you've got screens that can come up and down as well to sort the bugs. Um, and we've also got three more going across the roof here so it makes it really lovely and light and bright and you can get the air circulating when it's hot as well. There's one above the bed. But there's one in the bathroom but it's not quite so good. I think it's a push up. I don't like that one so much, but I, I do really like these. Well, the last thing is an invisible thing, really. It's it, well, for the ladies. It, it is really important to me because it's payload. Um, most motorhomes of this type uh, will have a payload of around about three or four hundred kilos, and uh, they would have a maximum limit of three, three and a half ton. We're lucky we've got a chassis here which has got 4.25 tonnes, that's metric tonnes, uh, which gives us a 900 kilogram payload. And uh, that's a lot of stuff you can carry. Now we're still very careful about what we keep in the van and we still uh, take stuff out when we don't need it. But we have 900 kilograms to play with. Here are just a quick few more things that we love about our Swift Bolero. The nice alloy wheels. The contrasting black cab. The really useful man cupboard on the side. Reversing and rear view cameras for two views. The optional bike rack and the fixings that are already there. The outside barbecue point and the electric point here for a, a pump so that you can use an acro roll instead of moving the van every time. And the Swift command system with Alda heating. Well, we've just talked about the five things we love about Bertie. Uh, I think we did a little bit more than five. <laughs> but we'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. So, we'd like to say bye.
See you next time. Bye. It's well. being silly. I'm standing on the step and he's crouching down. So I, I look taller than him. <laughs> There's a bit of fluff on the camera. I couldn't quite see his head. It was covered by the fluff. That'd be an outtake. <laughs>